Hi, this is Jason Kranz. Welcome to Kingpin TV. Today, we have a very special show for you guys because we're broadcasting from our booth at the 2015 Portland Roaster Show. And today, I want to debut two 1966 Chevelles and our concept behind them, along with the 31 Chevy Coupe. Let's take a look now at the Chevelles. In order to maximize the space in the Chevelle, what we did is we ended up putting the subwoofer and, and all the audio equipment up in the top part of the, the trunk area. As you can see, it's hidden by a metal mesh. This allows the, the, the processor and the amplifier and other components that are to breathe with heat, but it doesn't allow you to see them and see them. Now, we do this for a couple of reasons. The main reason is, is we do not want to date when the restoration of the car was done by the audio system. That doesn't make any sense. The other reason why we do this is because we don't want to see any of the equipment and let people know what's actually inside there and take away from the actual um, design of the car itself. One of the features we're known for on a lot of our street rod builds is what I call the belt line. It's this area of the top edge and it finishes it off really nicely and allows us to put lights in there which can access the whole trunk when they turn on. The other thing that we did on this one is to keep with the, the OEM style of the car and we did these pleats. Not only did we do the pleats but we did them at an angle to make them look better. We finished this off and added a show plaque area. This is where you put the name of your car or any kind of dedication you want to. Now the other cool part of all of our installs are hidden storage. And we do this for a couple of reasons. One, it gives you an area to put your detail supplies. And two, if you happen to be at a show, it's a good area to keep some storage for your coat, your wallet, or anything that's hidden completely from everybody and out of sight. So on the finished Chevelle, um, a couple of things that we like to discuss to show the difference between the other two, besides the additional pleating part, was this area here. Now on the one that's under construction, which we call Sugar Plum for today, is that one's going to get painted to mount the outside of the car. This one's going to be actually has a 1080 wrap. Now we have a whole other video on vehicle wraps, and it will show what that product exactly does. The other neat thing of all this stuff is this, this metal mesh grill that we actually painted on this one. That one's in still raw construction. And that's an actually a press grill, so it's just not flat. It's got some shape to it. And we're going to have a whole other episode on that. But it just gives the contour of the car and then flow. So this is that nice, newer street rod flow instead of that pleated kind of more factory look as the other one has. And this is going to be the difference between the two. So on this 31, what we want to do is maximize our space because, well, let's just be honest, it doesn't have any space. So what we did in order to get the sound that we wanted to get out of is we ended up putting a six inch driver here in the kick panel along with a tweeter. And what happens here is we've fabricated this whole entire thing from scratch in order to house those speakers to equal out that path length. From here, we went to the rear speakers and the C pillars, and then we did a single 10 inch driver fiberglass to fit the car behind the back seat. Now, with the powerhouse behind the system, since we couldn't really do any fabrication and show it off, we had to hide the amplifier. And that five channel amplifier is right here underneath the seat. And that powers the front speakers, the rear speakers, and the subwoofer to give it the sound that we need. Now, if you notice, there's no radio here. All we have is a ringtail lemur doing pull-ups. The reason for that is, is we don't want to date the car any. This is kind of a hidden stall system. So what we do to get the music in is we have our iPod cable here that the iPod or your iPhone plugs into. And you're kind of going, well, that's really cool, and I can just flip through my music on the go, but how do I get volume up and down? Well, the reason why we can do that and allow that to happen is we have a special knob over here. Now, I'm not really into knobs, but this knob is pretty cool because it allows us to do the volume up and down on the go. And that also allows us to take our phone if we go from car to car with our music with us. Thanks for watching this episode of Kingpin TV. We're pleased to be able to show you this episode from the 2015 Port and Roaster Show. If you'd like to check out our other videos, please follow us on the web, our YouTube channel, or you can always follow us at kingpincaraudio.com.